Hello, today I'm going to read Snoopy the Mars Rover. Snoopy the Mars Rover. The next episode we're going to read is Snoopy Blasts Off. Snoopy was napping on his dog's house when Charlie Brown woke him up to ask a favor. I'm working on a project about Mars and need to have it typed. Can you help me? Snoopy sat up slowly and thought, Well, that makes... Well, that makes sense. I've seen, I've seen how bad your ha- handwriting is, and I can type a lot faster. Snoopy pulled, Snoopy pulled out his typewriter and put it on top of the doghouse. He thought to himself, "The sooner I get this done, the sooner I get back to my nap." All right, Snoopy, Charlie Brown began. You type as I read. Then he laughed. You know, most kids tell their teacher a, a dog ate their homework. I wouldn't tell more that my dog typed it. Snoopy sighed. Eating or typing, they never, be, they, they never believe a dog is involved. Charlie Brown began to read. Mars is often referred to as the red planet because it looks like a bright red orange object in the the sky. This color is caused by rust in the Martian rocks and dust on its surface. Rusty rocks, Snoopy thought. The universe is weird. Mars is about 14 mil- 34 million mi- miles away from the Earth. It takes at least eight months to travel to Mars. Snoopy's eyes were starting to droop. He felt tired, and typing was not helping him stay awake. Also, Charlie Brown continued, a year on Mars is equal to almost two years on Earth. Isn't that interesting, Snoopy? Snoopy? Snoopy was not interested in space. In space, no one can hear you yawn, he thought. It's really cold on Mars. Charlie Brown continued much, much colder than on Earth. Snoopy could barely keep his eyes open as he thought, This report needs something exciting. What it needs is... Action and adventure. Snoopy decided the best way to help Charlie Brown would to be create a new story as he began typing. He's a world famous astronaut sitting on top of his doghouse, reading the newspaper. He's sipping cold milk when suddenly he reads some surprising news. What's this? Rover is on his way to explore Mars? This is crazy! That dog rover can't even find his way out of the backyard. I should be exploring Mars. I'm the world famous astronaut. He knew that what had to be done. He put on his space suit and announced proudly, Adventure Calls. This will be one small step step for BeagleKind and a big try and talk to this rover. The astronaut had a problem, though. I don't know how to get to Mars. I bet someone from NASA knows the way. I must have their phone number around here somewhere. 
NASA is able to help, but getting to Mars will not be easy. He'll need the new spacecraft called the Orion, and he'll need to stop at the moon on the way to Mars. And moon on Ma- moon and Mars? Now that's an exciting event journey. Next page. The astronaut makes his way to the to the space launch system. The most powerful rocket ever built. This system is made to boost Orion out of the atmosphere. On all his deep space missions, plus it looks cool. The new Orion craft is very impressive. It will carry people and world-famous astronauts farther into space than ever before. Its missions include exploring deep space in Mars. Once the safety check is completed, Orion blasted blasts off towards the moon, but all the world-famous astronauts can think about is getting to Mars before Rover does. After flying by the moon eight months later, he lands safely on Mars. That was a long trip. I'm glad I'm glad there was an in-flight movie. He emerges from the craft and looks around. Hmm, reminds me of Arizona without warning. The ground begins to shake. A very rumbly Arizona. Kicking up reddish dust, he sees a mis mysterious set of tracks. What are these? Could there be golf carts on Mars? He wonders. The ground begins to shaking again. How strange, he thinks. I'm just happy there are no giant volcanoes on Mars. Oh no, I forgot there is a giant volcano on Mars. Olympus Mars and it's erupting. The world famous astronaut races away and bumps into a small vehicle. What's this, he asks. Curiosity Mars Rover? Oh. You're the rover? The car-sized machine created to gather scientific evidence that makes a lot more sense than a dog. Lava begins to flow like a river. Well, no matter what kind of rover you are, you're about to be toast. If we don't get out of here, he shouts. The astronaut leaps uh, onto the rover and wonders, how do you drive one of these things? It did not take Charlie Brown long to learn that Snoopy was not listening to his report, so he decided to read over his dog's shoulder. As Snoopy pods, he realized Charlie Brown was reading along. Well, it's not my report, he told Snoopy, but it's definitely exciting. How does our hero get out of this mess, Charlie Brown asked. Snoopy smiled and got back to typing. The end. We'll be back for Snoopy Blast Off.